What's up, Butcher Gang? It's your lady, Miss Q. We're back with another one. This time, hubby is behind the camera. What's going on, y'all? I'm always behind the camera, but we're going to give him the, uh, give me the spotlight. What's up? So today, we are going to be installing the lid lock, helmet lock. Um, so it's already open because Vines is already installed, and I did it myself. So now I'm going to be doing hubby's bike. And it's really easy. All you need is a T30 torque screw and everything else is here. So, without further ado, let's get started. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can stay tuned for more. And we thank you. So the first thing you'll have to do is take out the existing screw that you have in the help the uh, handlebar. So hubby wants his on his left side because he is left-handed. I actually installed mine on the right side. around that now this screw is really long there you go. so you might be turning for a little minute my, my screw wants to turn with the <laughs> torch screw there we go. I, think I gotta angle it a little bit Maybe you gotta hold it right there. And turn it here or here? Yeah, there. There you go. Okay. Dead just like that. Ah. See, they'd be happy when you did yours or you'd have got it done a little quicker. Well, actually, when I did mine, I did it the hard way because I didn't know how to put the T30 torch screw in reverse. So, yeah. That's why you do a test run before you do the real run. Like I said, this screw is very long. <laughs> that ring, though. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about me, baby. Tell them about Shout out to the honey. That's for carrot right there. Four carrot. We in South Carolina and mosquitoes will tear you up. They like secondary humans around here. They ought to be paying rent. There you go. They like SpongeBob. Three hours later. Come on. Come on. You know what? I forgot I did that. <laughs> I did do that on my bike. I just started screwing it and up. And I ain't wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> I was going to let her keep doing it. No, you wasn't. Yeah, look at that. See? It's pretty long. Like two to three inches. All right. So once that is out, don't throw it away just in case you decide to ever take the lock off. We put our stock items in the box and if we ever need it we can go back to it all right so the lid lock actually sends you another screw that goes in there so you'll use that and you'll take the actual lock or the placement where the lock will go into and you stick the screw through it once you stick it through it it would actually go in here. And I'm just gonna do it by hand to get it started. And then I'll use the uh, T30 torch screw again to get it placed in there. Now it does have a notch 
right here as you can see that opening doesn't go all the way around so when you get ready to tighten it make sure this part is upright and the notch is facing downward now one thing I did run into is my bike um, as I tried to tighten it this wanted to turn with it so I kind of had to position it upside down so when I tighten it it actually turned the right way so that was smart I know baby I know, I know, I know. so hopefully I get it right this time too yeah see if you get it right <laughs> it on video a couple of times and the fact that I did not know how to reverse the t30 30 torque screw it was a hot mess don't do that <laughs> Know how to use your tools, guys. Know how to use your tools. And your fingers. Work smarter, not what? Harder. There you go. Harder. Make you frustrated. And hot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get a little closer. So we're going to go ahead and reverse this baby here. And then once I get it down a good bit, I'll hold that um, end piece to make sure it's going to be faced the correct way before it's tightened all the way. Now, I'm no mechanic, so if I can do this, you can too. Trust me. As you can see, I can't even move it anymore. But once I tighten it, it starts to turn. And it might have turned this a little bit too much. Break it out a little. Make sure it's positioned right. Want me to hold it? Oh, now I got it. Excuse me. Captain Mooch. interlock piece and just use the key they gave you and you'll insert this into the holder so all you do is twist it in easy peasy nice and squeezy all right and once that is tight you can take the key out don't lose it you won't be able to use your lock. We'll set that to the side. They also sent a very, very small hex key. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. <laughs> so this, you're going to insert it below the helmet lock. There's a little small, small hole. You put it in there. And this is just to tighten the interlock up against the holder so it doesn't move. All right, once that's tight, you are actually done. So this is what you will actually put your helmet on. So you'll put your D-rings through here. We don't have the helmet right now, but you'll put your D-ring through here and you'll insert the open notch inside your um, helmet lock once it's inside there all you do is push in and that bad boy is there to stay it is not moving so your helmet will be in place no one will be able to take it off they can try it if they want but they will not be able to take that off and to get it off you'll take your key Give it a little twist, and it comes out. And then just twist your 
key until you can remove it. And that, you guys, is how you install the Lit Locks helmet. We actually got ours off of Sling Mods. Um, we had a little discount. They were running like a special or something with 12% um, off or something like that. So what we actually did instead of buying two, we bought the one that was a pair. I used one and um, hubby used one. So we got two for the price of less than buying two separately, which is good. Usually when we're getting accessories, we're getting them for two bikes. So we got two bikes or you ride with someone husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, things like that, try to get those uh, items that come together. But um, we'll do a quick demonstration with the actual helmet. And then um, after that, we're actually going to get ready to install a, a gear shifter on my bike that I got from Mystic Beat Customs off of Ixie. Um It's a good color match, so decided to show y'all that and put it on. Uh, for my folk that kind of struggle with shifting the gear when you have to reverse and things like that. So, let me go get the helmet. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, so I'm going to use my helmet. And these are the D-rings that you will put the holder through. So you just insert it as such. And boy, it is strong, I will tell you that. And, like I stated before, just insert the open notch into the holder. And there you have your helmet lock. Now, we have bags for our helmets, so instead of leaving mine all open, because I do have some items on it that I don't want to take off, such as um, my microphone for motor vlogging, things like that, I'll probably just put my bag over and zip it while it's still on the holder and then to remove it again you just take that key insert it kind of have to find the notch it has like a couple notches this is a notch here so just line it up with the notch that's on the bike already or on the uh, the locking mechanism or just keep twisting it till it works itself in there we go and then twist and release. Tell me how I did in the comments. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I sure they I won't. I did pretty good. If y'all would have saw me putting it on my bike, y'all probably would have uh, turned the channel by now. <laughs> All right. So now we'll go ahead and um, roll my bike out, and then I'll get my gear shift on. All right, we are back and I'm going to be putting on a new gear shifter that I received from Mystic B Customs on Etsy on my bike. Um, now this one, I know some people pull theirs from the top. I can't really do that. <laughs> Plus my legs are short. I'm only like five, two and a half. So I usually go under and pull it this way to put it in reverse and then just push it back to put it forward works for me i've never reached down there with my hand i'll probably be fidgeting for a little bit and i don't know it's just harder so without further ado this is the new gift shifter we'll be putting on look how pretty that is i love the uh detail in it, it has like triangle cuts and it gives it like a shine and it also gives it like um different shades of the yellow acid yellow panels match that I do have so I think they did pretty good it's hard to find colors to match these panels but I'm satisfied with it and I'm sure it'll look good down here and it's bigger so it'll be easier to just pull it back and push it or maybe I'll even be able to put my foot on top of it that we will have to find out so the first thing we're going to do we have our tools all you need is a razor blade from what I hear if you're not going to use the original gear shifter just cut it off you won't need it if you don't plan on putting it back on your bike uh, but if you do it may take a little longer to get it off because you have to take out the screw and then kind of just work that rubber piece which I heard is very tough to take off so we're just going to cut it off and then you just need a t30 torch screw 
to remove the screw that is already in there. And then we'll be placing the new gear shifter on and using that same screw and tighten it back up. Simple. All right, so first we'll go ahead and get this one off and okay, remove the screw first. First, <laughs> you can talk louder. Oh, thank you. Trying to trying to whisper See, it in to you. You gotta look out for me. <laughs> so first, we're gonna take the screw off. Make sure I got it going the right way, and it's gonna tighten it. So let's see. Put it in reverse. It sticks out just a little bit more. That comes off pretty easy. Or do that with your hand. Yeah, once I get it out, I'll be able to just twist it. Not yet. Still a little stiff. I don't see my baby tatted it up. Yeah, we got matching tats, y'all. It was his first tattoo. <laughs> yeah. I should have recorded it to show y'all. He did good though. He was just sweating a lot. <laughs> Don't be telling the people I've been sweating. Sweating like hell. Yeah, they were our old cousin home. What's up, Ike? Hey. All right, so we got the little beady beady screw out. Mm -hmm. It's much shorter than the screw in the handlebar. All right, so as you see, you cannot just pull this thing off. I'll probably get rubber burn if I try it. So we're gonna cut it. And I'm not putting my other head down there because I do not want to cut my hand. Shout out to Hubby for the fresh razor. There we go. Sure you're trying to mess with that paint. Oh no, I ain't gonna mess nothing up on my baby now. Show I'm doing it right. Look at that. Look at my baby. I can pop that thing off. And use your tiger teeth. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We got it. All right. So now that that's off, put the new one on. I hope our torch grew long enough to fit up in there. <laughs> we might have to visit alternative measures. All right, so that's in there. Oh yeah, we got it. We good. We good. We good. Oh, turn it back to tighten it. I'm trying to do a slow motion on cross thread it. Hold up, man. Hmm? Take it back out. I don't know if I can take it. Back. There you go. No worries. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. Put it in. Uh, no, no, no. Put the screw in there. In here? Yeah. Make sure it's kind of fall up in there. Yep. Yep. And then go on ahead and slip it up on there nice and slow. Take your time. Make sure it's all on there now. Yes. I don't want to push back out. Okay. There you go. Just take your time. All right. Going in easy. No, it's gone. Well, baby, the teeth there, the torch stop right there. Uh, got to put an extension or something on it. Yeah, we got. Um, I'm gonna see. Hold on, y'all. All right, we're back. So we had a few technical difficulties. One important note: the T30 torch screw will have to be kind of long, or at least have an extender. So. We got something that we can actually stick in there. If it's short, it's going to stop and hinder you from tightening it. So, thanks to hubby, we found the cure. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this tightened up. Yeah, put pressure on it while you're doing it, there you go. Oh yeah. Woo! That's good. Now the paper did say it will still move a little bit. 
It's safe for safety precautions. I don't necessarily know what that means, but it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. So now I'm going to test it out, see how easy it is to shift now that we have a longer and thicker and brighter gear shifter. So right now it's in reverse. So of course I'll go ahead and put it back in. And it does roll now. So you gotta watch your foot. It rolls. As far as putting it down, as you can see, that ain't gonna work for me personally. So I'll still continue to. Okay, there we go. Put your foot on top of it. <laughs> yeah, <but> you, <laughs> <laughs> you made that joker go down. I had to, and I paid $20. It better move, so put your heel into it. It's easy to push forward. Put your heel into it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put it back in. Now that we got that out of the way, we can what can I say? So if you want one that looks cute, <laughs> Mystic Beat Customs on Etsy.com. They got all kind of colors. Hubby actually got the black one coming. Hopefully, you know, by then we'll we'll have it, you know, we'll be able to put his on. Um, and then hopefully he'll be able to adjust it with his foot. Whatever is comfortable for you to be able to move it, do that. Whether it's pushing it or pulling it. But I don't know. I might have to... I don't know if it's like a something we can do to make it not roll. We'll figure that out. But till next time, thanks for joining us again. Moochie gang, 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 gang. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Drop a comment what you think. Um, again, just to recap, we did the helmet lock on hubby's bike. And we did the gear shifter on my bike. Have a good day and we out. See y'all.